Hey guys, let's go ahead and see what's coming up in today's collective. Let's go ahead and set the theme with the Oracle deck. What's coming up in today's collective? With the theme? Tranquility. All right. Mm -hmm. Number 39. All right. <clears throat> So the key words for tranquility are peace, silence, healing. In thy womb of blissful quieting and calming stillness lives the world of worlds spellbound to the silence. To be at peace means to have inner harmony despite what's happening around you. Imagine how much easier Christmas shopping and holiday preparation would be if nothing ruffled your feathers. The same goes for life. You cannot change other people or external factors, but you can control how you respond to them. Inner peace is created through an acceptance of what is beyond your control. What is the purpose of worry if it cannot contribute to change in your situation? You have pulled tranquility because what you have asked about is beyond your control. It may seem ominous, but the fear is often much worse than the thing itself. Excessive worrying will only cause you more pain and could lead to self-fulfilling prophecies. You are being guided to release stress and seek peace. Reach out for help if you feel like this is not something you can manage independently. Having another perspective could help to ease the stress. All right. So, peace, tranquility, healing. Let's see. What's the storyline about today? Oh, and today we are using the Arcanum Tarot. All right. Well, tell us about today's storyline. Page of Pentacles, okay. With the moon. So I feel like this is the healing aspect of the Tranquility card. Um, somebody could be tapping into their inner child. Um, now, I don't know why the first thing I got when I saw this card was somebody who is looking at how they present themselves. As in, uh let's say it's a feminine i'm not sure it is but let's say it's a feminine right feminine presenting person and she's looking at wait why am i so careful about what dresses i use why do i always look at um it's almost like she's been <clears throat> possibly raised very conservative all her life and she has this preconceived notion about who she would be if she were something a little bit more daring she's possibly looking into her makeup looking into her shoes uh, but she's like healing. Yeah, she's coming to terms with something. I don't know why I'm getting that storyline, but that's what I got with this. Like somebody is, now it could change as we go, right? But for now, that's what I'm getting. Somebody is um, looking at who taught me that this is the way I should dress? Who taught me that this is all I can do? Who taught me that like if I wear a low neckline or something like that, I'm... I'm easy who taught me those things let's see let's clarify the page of pentacles we get the page of cups the moon card queen of cups and judgment all right so when she's looking into it again the moon and page of pentacles this one's the moon and page of cups so this could be a sibling this could be um another aspect of her inner child and here we have the Queen of Cups. So this is either the feminine the story is about. But I think it, it has two meanings. It is the feminine the story is about. But I think it also represents the feminine who taught her these things. So this could have been a mother figure, a grandmother figure, or whoever raised her. Uh, whatever feminine raised her. They taught her that people would pass judgments on her if she dressed a certain way, if she acted a certain way. So this was that type of thing of like, oh, no, 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 no red lipstick. That's too, that's too loud. That's too fast. Um, oh, no, no, no. Heels have to be a certain height. Anything beyond that. And you're acting like, like you're, you know, a sex worker, things like that. So it was like, well, where did that notion come from? Who taught me that? And it's like somebody's digging deep. Um because for a long time, they've realized that they're not really following what they want. They're not really dressing the way they want. They're not really behaving the way they want. And the more that they dig into that, they're asking, why? Who taught me that I couldn't do that? All right. 
Let's put this one over here. And let's see. What else do we need to know about this story? Oh, High Priestess. Okay. And the sun. Interesting. So first we got the moon, and now we got the sun. <laughs> and the High Priestess is very much about you know, tapping into our subconscious. So the moon was the subconscious. Now it's coming into her consciousness. Now she's fully aware of, oh, now I know where that came from. Now I know who taught me that. Now I know, could have also been a father, right? Uh, my family, their parents could have taught them that. Let's look at the high priestess. Clarify high priestess. Queen of Wands, Magician. Five of Pentacles, King of Wands. Mm. So here's something interesting. Um, I believe at some point this queen attracted a partner. Attracted a partner who was very similar to her. But this side of her really struggled to come out, right? Because this is the sun energy is confidence. It's about, you know, being yourself, embracing who you are. And she wanted to do that, which I think she may have manifested somebody who would support her doing that. But she struggles. She struggles. <laughs> it's like she gets, she has this, she goes back into her little shell like, no, 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 no. No, because people will judge me. People will judge me. But then this insecurity also led her to believe this person's probably judging me. They probably don't want me. And it's just, it made things, um, it made the connection a burden to where this king probably was like, you know what? I don't. I don't really want to be here. Um, it feels like like there was a lot of insecurities here. And it started becoming a burden because he has to constantly be giving reassurance. And somebody that has this energy might not, you know, they they pair well with someone who's confident about themselves. Let's see. Six of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. Hmm. So that's what set her on this journey. That's what, hold on, give me one second. Um, I had to check a notification. <laughs> okay. So this this connection is what set her on her journey of like, I have to dig within. Why do I feel like I can't shine? Let's see. Clarify Six of Swords. Clarify Six of Swords. So... This is interesting because I feel like she would also, ooh, look at that. Wow. She would also block out her feminine energy. So she wouldn't, like I said, she wouldn't really dress the way she wanted to. She wouldn't really see herself as this empress. She mostly suffered from, well, I'm not good enough. I'm not, you know, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not this enough. And the two sword cards together is the five of swords. So it put her in this energy of being really um, self-defeating, right? She would she would already talk down to herself so that nobody else could hurt her with that with their words. Um, but with the Wheel of Fortune here, the universe is trying to get her to move past this. This cycle she's put herself in has to end. She can't that the universe does not want her to always live in this energy. So I do think she's going to start getting out more, spending more time with, um, I don't, I don't think it's like she's going to go drinking and dancing, although she could do that if she wants to, but it's more about, uh, going to places and events that she finds interesting. That's what I think. That's what it feels like. All right, let's see.
Eight of Cups with the Four of Cups. Okay, so she's realizing it doesn't matter what I do, people are never pleased. Because remember, she was taught that she couldn't dress a certain way because she would be judged, right? But then she realized that judgment will be passed no matter what. <laughs> um, if she dresses moderately, conservatively, she will have people talking about that. If she dresses provocatively, seductively, people will talk about that. If she dresses like a goth, people will talk about that. It, whatever option she has, people who want to talk will find something to talk about. And she's realizing that now. And remember with the moon here, she's reaching into her subconscious like, I don't know why I'm following that mentality. I'm going to do, look, now she's dressed in red, color of passion. She's going to follow her passion. Let's see. Clarify the Four of Cups. Okay, got the Queen of Pentacles. Five of Cups, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups, Tower, Eight of Swords. Hmm. So the reason she might have started looking for answers um, was because this that breakup that occurred really hurt her. It really had her in despair. And she started realizing, you know, I have to address these insecurities. I have to, I have to come from a place of nurturing myself with the Queen of Pentacles here. She doesn't want to be in sorrow anymore. She doesn't want to be in grief anymore. The next relationship she gets into, she wants to come in, you know, feeling feminine, feeling soft, feeling poetic, romantic. And that was a big wake up call. The, the connection falling apart was almost like a catalyst to setting her on this journey of breaking free from a lot of limitations that she had. So let's see. Wow, Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Wands. Yep, 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 yep. So, what is she realizing? Well, she's realizing that she's been carrying society's expectations, her mother's expectations, her family's expectations on what a woman is, not her own. And then she got to a place where she's like, you know what? This is going to end today. Clarify Ten of Swords. Clarify Ten of Swords. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost the same exact cards. <sighs> because with the Two of Swords, all this emotion that's sitting behind her, y'all see all that water behind her? She's not touching it, right? But it also means the emotions um, connect her to her femininity. Femininity can't talk today. So if she's not tapping into those emotions, she's she's not being able to heal herself. She's not tapping into her feminine energy. So she wants to stop that. She wants to end that cycle. She wants to bring back memories of where where this was taught, work on it, and heal it. Heal her inner child. Good for her. Very, very good. Let's see. What else? Oh. Okay. Ah. Okay. So this is the downside to things right whatever it is that she's healing because it's a it's a collective reading so it's going to be different i just made the mention of the physical appearance but or how she dresses but for other people it'll be different things so whatever it is it's it's wonderful that she's healing that's that's you know very very important for her for her growth for her um development but she, she's still grieving the relationship that ended. In fact, 
she's also still holding on to it. She is not letting go no matter what. So this tells us she's not really healing for herself. She's healing for that person. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. So she has a feeling, her intuition tells her, her intuition or her spying skills, one of the two. But her intuition tells her that this person will come back to her one day. So she is going to work on herself but because she doesn't want this connection to be over she's going to be she wants a new start so she's going to be rebuilding her foundation because maybe she doesn't want to fight or whatever it was that that caused a breakup between her and this king of wands she wants a, a new beginning two cards of new beginnings so this is this is why the devil is here because that is a very dangerous thinking that's codependent that's allowing someone else to be the um, the reason for her growth, the reason for her expansion. So what happens if this person ever passes away? What happens if this person doesn't want her? That's going to turn into bitterness because it's going to feel like I'm putting all this work for this person and they don't even want me. Or if they die, oh, that'll turn into this giant rage against the universe like i was waiting for this person you know what i mean like it's not supposed to be about another person it's supposed to be about her so she clearly still has some issues to work through let's see what else do we need to know about this story line? <sighs> two of swords and the nine of wands so she's <laughs> she's addressing the part that she thinks caused the breakup between her and the king of wands but the devil the one that's causing the codependence between her and the king of wands she's like yeah no I, that's not that doesn't exist i don't know what you're talking about i really let them go she's in denial she's in denial that she's waiting for this king to one day come back clarify two of swords Hmm. <laughs> look at that look at that i cannot this is why i love tarot tarot's like you no know, we can't fake this we will not fake this <sighs> she is she's still holding on she's got all these She's got all these memories and she's like, you don't understand what I shared with this person. You don't understand how they made me feel. I just, every time she looks at her phone or her email, whatever, she's waiting for some sign of life, right? Her life is on hold because she's not living for herself. She's living for this person. So until they come back, her life can't continue. Her life can't move on. She won't date anybody. She won't look beyond it. She's and it's kind of um, oppressive in the sense that that's why the devil's here. Energetically, she is oppressing the other person because when you keep feeding a bond, the other person can't move on either. And she might know that, which is why the devil's here. Because it's like, why are you purposely holding on to someone else and not letting them live either? That's when it crosses into, you need to stop. And I'm saying she knows because they have the magician here. So she may be praying for their return. She may be praying uh, or lighting candles for their return. She might be trying to manifest them back. Whatever it is, she is trying to create them not letting go. And that's creating oppression on both her and the other person. Now, she doesn't care about it creating oppression on her side. But she, she cares about it creating, I mean, well, hopefully she'll care about it creating oppression to the other person. Because she's just, look, look, 
you see the the plants growing she's like i'm gonna wait here until there's a damn tree in front of me i'm not going anywhere and if anybody tries to dissuade her she's gonna say something like well you just don't want me to be happy with my person no where is your person they are not here what else do we need to know and for those of you who start rationalizing, well, what happened was, no, stop, stop it. Strength card. And the five of cups. Like I said, she's holding on. Like a cork on a bottle. Clarify five of cups. Nine of cups. Six of swords, seven of swords. And there he is again. No, I'm not saying he's coming back for those of you who are like, oh, he's coming. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying he's on her mind. He is what she is holding on to. And I'm saying he because, you know, it's a king, but it doesn't have to be a genital thing. Okay. Masculine energy. <sighs> She's just not. It's like this king came into her life and changed her life. So the way she sees it is like, now, the reason that this person changed my life is because they're my person. There's no other explanation, no possible other solution to this. I'm not going to move on because they are my person. So in some twisted way, she perceives this as loyalty. That's the problem. She thinks this is being loyal to the King of Wands. When it's not, it's being childish. It's her inner child asking for assistance. That's what it is. Because she's she's acting like, oh yeah, no, 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 I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine, single. I am moving on. I am doing my life. And Tarot's like, you are lying. You are not. You're waiting. You see how she's like, yeah, moving on. And look at, she's over here looking at this King of Swords. Like, I mean, King of Wands. Like, one day he'll be back though. And then I'll be ready because I've been waiting for him. Let's see. What else do we need to do? Seven of Swords. Again. With the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Did this king already get married? Clarify Ten of Pentacles. Is this like a continuation of yesterday's story? <laughs> Clarify Ten of Pentacles. We'll see. We'll see in a minute. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands, The Hermit, Page of Cups. No, because yesterday it was an Empress and a... It was... The Queen of Pentacles was the partner. No, I don't think it is. Okay. All right. So anyways... Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This is what this uh, Queen of Pentacles is not, or Queen of Wands is not really admitting to herself. That she really wants a union. She really wants to be happy, right? But she battles because if anybody else shows up with any type of offer, she's like, no, 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 fuck off, go away. I'm waiting for my, for my King of Wands. She's sitting here, loyal, in her mind, loyal to her person, when in reality, she's self-defeating because she's embattled with possible options that are coming in, but she can't see them because she's so focused on the King of Wands. So the universe is giving her something new, and she's like, no, look, she can't even see them. She's looking down, crying still over this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who is probably very attractive. King of Wands is usually very attractive. Um, but she's maybe focusing a little too much on the physical part and not enough on whether this king actually wants to be with her. Let's see. What else do we need to know? Queen of Wands. 
the four of pentacles she still envisions herself having this but with as as the queen of wands with the king of wands that's it that's the only person she will accept having this with and she's gonna hold on to that look at that with the chariot she's not she's not nobody will make her turn away from this nobody clarify queen of wands i mean honestly the only person that can do it is her <laughs> i cannot <laughs> clarify king of wands I mean, king, king, queen. <sighs> With the high priestess, it's because she's like, you just don't know. I know. I know that this is my king. Other people don't understand, but I know it. This is my king. And one day, he's going to come back offering something and then we're going to rebuild our connection and it's going to be solid and it's going to be a whole new life and it's going to be so exciting and I am constantly praying and manifesting it because that's what makes me happy. Yeah, that's how the devil came out because this is an obsession, an unhealthy obsession, which might be why the tranquility card came out. Because that also means she will not have peace in her life, right? Because she can't have wholeness. Because in her mind, she's complete only when this King of Wands is in her life. Without this King of Wands, her life is not complete. Her path is not complete. Her life, her journey, where she's going, is not complete without this King of Wands. And yeah, that's codependency. Let's see. What else do we say? Six of Pentacles with the Justice card. Hmm. What is with the Six of Pentacles? Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Swords. So it could be that the reason she's waiting so much, so, so much focused on this king is because this is the only king that was reciprocal. Because both of these cards, that's why I was like, why are they here? Both of these cards are about equal give and take, right? Especially this one. Six of Pentacles is giving of yourself, being generous. So... This might have been the first lover that this queen has ever had that reciprocated something to her. I don't know what it was, because again, it's a collective. It's going to apply differently to different people. Maybe this is the first person that gave her peace. Maybe this is the first person that gave her a luxury living. Maybe this is the per first person that gave her stability. First person that gave her communication. Whatever it was, she felt like this is the first person that I give this to them and they give it back. And it like created this, this need. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I was going to explain something else. It creates this need in her of staying single until she heals because then she'll, she'll come back around, right? She'll, she's determined with that knight of swords. She's determined that this connection will come back around. It's just, it's obsessive. Let's see what else. We've got the fool. Oh, the five of swords. Damn. Okay. So the universe is literally saying she's being a fool. She's being a fool because there are times where being the fool is great and there are times where it's not. So, for example, um, Inventing something new. Everybody else calling that person a fool. Yeah, that's the time you want to be called a fool. Because you're like, no, you're the fool because you don't understand it. In this case, that's the attitude she's taking, except it's not that. This is like somebody who has a, a lover who 
did some crazy shit and got themselves locked up in jail for life. And they're like, well, I'm going to trust and stay married to this person because you don't understand that they're a good person. That was just a moment, right? This like, no, let's not, let's not do that. This is, this is actually very detrimental to your future. Please stop doing this. Let's use common sense. Let's see. star with the moon so yeah so the universe is trying to get this person to heal but it's multiple things like yes go ahead and heal the the what you want to wear or who you want to be type of thing yes absolutely heal that but most importantly <laughs> let's heal the devil the part of you that has you codependent so acutely to a person clarify the star Find the stone. Yeah. Very good. Oh, I love this setup. Okay. So, like I mentioned before, the moon is the subconscious, right? And the sun is the conscious mind. So, the star is like the bridge to me because it's literally healing. <laughs> so, it's like Healing is bringing up from the subconscious and putting in our conscious mind like, oh, I forgot about that memory. Oh, I forgot about that moment that had an impact in who I am now. So I'm going to give an example of mine, right? Because you understand what I mean. Um, I don't like avocado, right? And that's because I realized I never knew why until one day my mom admitted that being pregnant of me, while she was eight months pregnant, she ate so much avocado, she was ill right and I was like well that might explain my aversion to it she's like oh yeah you're right that might explain it so my subconscious even at eight months old if within her tummy already picked up on the fact that this is bad for us let's not eat this and immediately created a repulsion to it in my mind so it's like she's digging in her subconscious to see what part of me the universe is, is putting her in this place, right? What part of me is so adamant that this must be my person? Searching for answers. Searching for why am I not in my empress mode? Because the empress, the empress hangs on to no one. It's on the opposite end. And empress is the one pursued. The empress is the one that has a multitude, a bevy of suitors trying to get a hold of her, trying to be near her. And she's just like, um, excuse me. I will pick from you, amongst you. And she's not in her empress energy. So there's there's a lot. There's a lot happening here where the universe is getting her to assess where that codependency is coming from. Let's see. What else? Oh, that one. Okay. I almost caught it and then I dropped it. Where's it at? Okay, so it's the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Yep, I figured this card would come out um, because this is how she's holding on to this idea, right, of this person. And if you notice in this card, there's a key here because she's sitting on a treasure chest. So it's like... Until this king comes back, I can't enjoy the treasure that is life. I can't live in a castle. I can't do anything until this king comes back. And meanwhile, I'm just going to live like a beggar. Because what she's realizing, what's coming up from her subconscious, is like, oh, I do this because I don't think I'm worthy of being wanted. I don't think I'm worthy of being the one that is adored, of being the one that is waited for, of being the one that is chosen. Clarify Four of Pentacles. Yep, look at that. And it's like there's some moment through her healing where she has this 
earth shattering revelation of like, oh my God, I did this. I held on to this person because somewhere in my childhood, I was told or I was made to feel that I was unwanted, that I wasn't important. I wasn't loved or, or lovable. And I believed it. And so now when somebody walks away and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting to be worthy of them, it's because I feel like I'm not worthy of them. And she needs to stop. When someone tells you that they you know, don't want to be with you, you let them go and move on. There's going to be someone else who does. And that's just, that's just life. You can't hold on to them and call that loyalty. In some places, that's called harassment, <laughs> depending on what you're doing. Okay, let's see. What else? What else do we need to know about the storyline? Look at that. Change has been initiated, my lovelies. Change has been initiated. Very, very good. With the death card, this is the universe saying, yes, yes, little grasshopper. Now you get it. Now you get it. The death addresses the devil. Clarify the death. King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So remember in the first one, when it came to the Page of Pentacles, and we're examining who taught her those things, we had the Queen of Cups. And now we're examining this, we have the King of Cups. So the person who taught her to not be herself, basically, was her mother, a feminine. But the person who didn't show up for her who didn't build a strong foundation for her that was her father that's who she was always waiting for and this could have been um emotional abandonment this could have been um physical abandonment this could have been And I say that because, like, it's not even, I'm not even saying that she was raised fatherless, because it could be her father was there her whole childhood. But if he wasn't present, as in, you know, she comes up to him and says, Dad, you know, I want you to read me this book. And he's like, yeah, I've got work to do. I don't have time for that. So she, you know, goes off to her room, sad. Or she comes and Dad, I want to, I want us to play together. He's just like, look, I have so much to do, I don't have time for this childish thing, and takes off. So it was like, you can have a father that's not present, if that makes sense. And I feel like that was more the case because the foundation was connected to him, and she's realizing that this needs healing. This needs to, this needs to be addressed. Because it's affecting the way she deals with her connections. She's always waiting for people. She's always waiting for them to notice her, waiting for them to give her time, waiting for them to acknowledge her. And she doesn't need to be waiting anymore. She needs to be happy. She needs to give herself that time, that energy. See herself as valuable, as worthy. Let's see, what else? Seven of Pentacles. With the Six of Wands. Okay. So this is addressing um, time. I feel like it's going to take her time to heal this, right? But she is investing. She is investing in herself. She's working on herself. Clarify seven of pentacles. Hmm. Interesting. So it's making her realize a lot of things, right? Like one of the things that she's realizing is like, oh, that's where the death is coming from, transformation. Because she's realizing, ah, you know, it just so happens that I always choose emotionally unavailable men. It just so happens that I choose people who come in immediately passionate and then leave. Like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm on to my next adventure. But she's pulling that in because that's what she feels she deserves. All she deserves is occasional moments of connection and then they take off. People who like her giving them attention, but she doesn't get it in return. Because maybe her father loved that. So there's definitely a connection here. Um, 
between the type of men she's attracting and what it is that she was taught in childhood. So let's see what else. What else do we need to know about the storyline? What else do we need to know about the storyline? Three of Pentacles. There we go. Oof, look at that. With the Five of Swords. So this is specifically what we were talking about. The Three of Pentacles is her foundation, right? And what is at her foundation? Five of Swords energy. Somebody telling her, you are up my ass all the time. You don't leave me alone. I need you to do this. I need you to get the fuck out of my way. I need you to go to your room. It's, it's like always... Um, the type of energy that was very distant, very disconnected. And that was her foundation. So of course that's going to influence the way she carries out her behavior as an adult. Let's clarify the repentance. Clarify three of pentacles. We've got the ten of pentacles, nine of swords, ace of cups star and the queen of swords mm. the six of swords so i love seeing the six of swords there because this is just letting us know there is going to be an adjustment there's going to be a move because the six of swords is the mind right it's swords are literally our thoughts which means she is transitioning from the way she used to think to a different way of thinking so with the ten of pentacles yes this was her family this was the way she was raised. This is the way she was taught. But with the Nine of Swords, it definitely gave her a lot of anxiety, right? This is where a lot of her worry. People don't realize that anxiety is also a learned behavior. <laughs> People who suffer from anxiety, they think it's, oh, it's natural. It's because my brain gives me anxiety. Well, no, actually, that's subconscious. Somebody in your childhood taught you to be anxious. What are you anxious about? What type of things, if you notice, for example, let me give you an example. Um, some people get really anxious about time, right? If they're not there on time, they get really anxious. And they don't realize that that's probably because as a child, they were disciplined if they weren't there on time. Or maybe privileges would be removed. Or maybe they would get talked down to and verbally abused. Or maybe uh, their parents were like, yeah, if you're not on time, I interpret that like you don't deserve this or you don't you know, value my time, whatever it was. That's that's at the core of this all. Her anxiety is, is connected to this. Whatever it is, people not giving her energy and she starts getting really anxious, that's why. Because it starts reminding her, oh, yeah, your father also said you're not worthy of his time. And both of these cards are like, that needs to heal. Because she has to step into her queen of swords energy and know when to cut people off. She has to know when things are over and stop holding on to things that do not serve her. Let's see. What else do we need to know about the storyline? Six of Wands with the Three of Cups. I feel like this has to do with either the people she's been dealing with let's see clarify six of wands we've got the two of swords page of wands clarify six of wands So she may be realizing as well with the eight of swords here that part of her limitation part of her um blockage is that she looks for people that fill her ego right because when you feel worthless you need something to prop you up 
So she would look for people who were impressive in some way. Maybe they made a lot of money. Maybe they looked really good. Maybe they were really funny or maybe they were really um, educated. Whatever it was, they had to have something that gave her value because she didn't give herself value. Whatever they worked in, it had to be something exciting or something really high status, high profile, because then she could have these wonderful things to tell her friends about the type of people she was connected to. But it might not have even been because she was in love with these people, because again, there's this denial of her true emotions. <sighs> Mm -mm -mm. The good thing is we have ten swords here again, so this is changing. There's there's a lot of transformation and healing that this um, this queen is going through. All right, what else do we need to know about the storyline? Strength card. Hmm. With the Three of Swords. There is a... There is heartbreak that she's gone through that has a really strong hold on her heart. And whatever she went through was something that taught her she wasn't lovable. And she's held on to that. She hasn't released it. So she keeps finding more. She keeps aligning, not finding. She keeps aligning energetically with people who remind her she is not lovable, who remind her she's not wanted. Clarify strength. King of Pentacles, the sun. I said six of wands again she likes to look for people that are impressive but those are the people she can't she can't let go of because they make her look good right because whoever this masculine was that broke her heart the person she saw as her happiness and then they rejected her she keeps seeing it like well nobody else is gonna want me either so she keeps aligning herself with people who push her away who reject her Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see. What else? Sorry, I'm like OCD about the cards. <laughs> Not like it's that important, but I get some honors. Okay. What else do we need to know? We have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Chariot. So because this did come out after Strength, I feel like it put her in this energy of um, being very determined to find somebody even more impressive than that King of Pentacles. And so part of the reason she doesn't want to let this King of Wands go is because he is in some way more impressive than the King of Pentacles. Clarify the chariot. So, all this passion she feels towards the King of Wands, all of this emotion that she feels. When she starts examining it, in reality, it's her inner child that would have fallen in love with this person. Not her grown version. Yeah. And that's where this, this strong desire to hold on, clamp on, latch on to this person has come from. Because her inner child is the one feeling it. And her inner child is the one, of course, that rules her subconscious. 
so it just gets really strong and intense. Let's see, what else? If we got two, we're gonna do one at a time. Eight of Cups. And the Seven of Cups. So, so she definitely feels like Or she felt we'll see in a minute whether she's still there but in her mind she had to find somebody that was very different from everybody else right she had to find somebody that she could build this fantasy with this illusion clarify the eight of cups With the um, Queen of Wands, she made herself be very attractive. She made herself almost like she turned herself into prime bait. So that she could find somebody that matched her. She would reject anyone else. Anyone else that didn't match that, that you know, different than everyone else energy. She wasn't interested she just knew she would find her match she knew she would find somebody better but it's again that's why the six of wands is here because that's kind of ego driven that's like trying to get somebody just to be able to tell your ex ha i got somebody better than you that's not what life is about right otherwise that means that ex still has power over her and she hasn't really truly moved on Yeah, she'd rather be single. <laughs> she'd rather be single forever if she's not going to have that King of Wands. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. Yep. Even 15, 20 years, she'll stay single. Because she's like, nobody else is worth the investment. But in reality, look at this. You see those that blindfold both of these are wearing? And how this one is blocking her heart chakra, disconnected from emotions. This one is all wrapped up. Saying like, I just can't. I just can't. She could. She could definitely find another partner if she just opened her heart. Instead of choosing people with her mind. Because she's so cerebral. She needs... Like she's looking for people to impress her instead of looking for people she actually connects with emotionally. So <sighs> Ten of Swords is here though. So this might come to an end. She might be working on this because it's like again, these are all realizations she's having about this this illusion, this fantasy she's been building in her head with this King of Wands. What else do we see? Judgment. And the tower. Yeah. So she is um She's recalling things from her subconscious, but it's also, it's like it's bringing back to life pieces of her that she thought were, you know, dead and gone. Clarify judgment. Queen of Wands. Hierophant, Two of Pentacles, Four of Wands. And that piece was the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. So remember when at the beginning she was trying to step into her feminine energy? Part of the reason why she had ditched her feminine energy was because her feminine energy didn't really see people through status, right? She wasn't that, she knew boundaries, but she wasn't like obsessed with how much they made, what they drove, no. And that's what's coming back to life. She's realizing, okay, I have to step into my subconscious, step into balance, 
and stop rejecting people who actually have really good potential for me. Move on from that and realize, you know, that King of Wands, maybe, yeah, maybe he was the one that got away in some ways. But that doesn't mean she can't connect with other people and love other people and be loved by other people. So I think that there's a piece of her that will see the king that way. Like, well, he's the one that got away. But not to live the, the rest of her life with, that's just, now I can't move on. Like I said, <sighs> king of wands. This is, again, this is what she's been waiting for, right? She's been waiting for, for this situation to come back. Nothing else pleases her because this is what makes her happy. But let's see. Clarify King of Wands. I am not saying the King of Wands is coming back. I am saying this is what she's been wanting. This is what she's been waiting for. This is what she's been fantasizing about. I mean, look at the little rainbow on the picture, right? This is about an illusion, uh, a dream. She has this, that, that would make her so happy if this king just came back and said, I am in love with you. I want to build with you. Let's try again. This is everything she's been waiting for. I don't think this is happening, but this is what she would like. Let's see, what else do we need to know about this story? Last, last row. Two of Wands and Nine of Swords. She doesn't want to let go because she's in this energy of like, but, but, hear me out, hear me out. She's rationalizing it, right? But what if he, he's planning? What if, what if there's this plan he has to come back and, and I'm just not aware of it? And, and you know, what if he comes back and then I'm gone? Mm. Well, he made that choice, didn't he? It means he took that risk. If he had seen her as valuable as she really is, that would not have been a risk he would have taken. Which means the, answer, the question answers itself. You weren't that valuable to him to begin with. Clarify to at once. And that's a little harsh, but that's reality. King of Cups, Three of Swords, Page of Wands, Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So she's <laughs> she's having some trouble. Okay. This queen is having some trouble moving forward because she is in denial. She is staunch in her belief that he's coming back. He will be back. And when he comes back, if if he comes back to express his love and sure he moved on, she's gonna break his heart. And this really eats at her. Like she truly worries about this. She's sitting here in anxiety, thinking like when he he sends a message, I don't want to have to tell him I'm with someone else. I want to tell him that I'm available to build our family. <sighs> Guys, this is bordering on delusional now. Because here she is. Defending the entrance into her life to anyone else because she's like, no, I'm waiting for my king, even though her king is nowhere to be found. Clarify seven of wands. The universe is asking her, please stop. Please stop. Let's start using more common sense, okay? Let's start using some logic. Did this king leave, yes or no? Yes. Did he walk away, possibly towards someone else? Yes. Okay, even if he's single, it doesn't matter. Let this person go. Move on. Live your life. 
Let's see. What else do we need to know about this storyline? Wow. So first we have the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. So the universe is really calling her out because again, she's she's basically breaking her own heart. She cannot sit here and say, oh, I'm, you know, I'm brokenhearted over this person when you could have healed that a long time ago. You could have moved on. You chose to fight off any other suitors. You chose to live alone. You chose to not move forward. So basically, self-sabotage at its finest. Clarify five of swords. Clarify five of swords. All right. So we've got the magic. <laughs> <sighs> the magician, which means, what does this mean? She is manifesting. She's still in manifestation mode. One day, I'm going to pull this king back in. I just know it. I just know it. Okay, now we're crossing some lines here because that's why the five of swords is here. This is spiritual harassment, honestly. Because she's so focused on manifesting this king who clearly does not want to be in her life. That's, that's all she's focused on. And the universe is saying, please move on. This is for your own good. You have people out here who want, who look up to you. You have people who admire you. You have people who want to get to know you better. But you're, you'd rather be outside of this king's life, waiting and waiting and waiting for him to come back, breaking your own heart in the process over and over and over again. Yeah, that's not, that is not healthy at all. At all. What else do we need to know about this story? Then? We've got the Temperance card and the Ace of Pentacles. I think this is something new the universe has for her. Somebody that balances her out. Clarify Temperance. If she would open her eyes, of course, and take off the blindfold. Clarify Temperance. Clarify Temperance. Now, in this case, yes, they're like the Ace of Pentacles is like there are new opportunities out there, right? There's there's more people. There's more fish in the sea. I mean, there's 8 billion people on the planet. I promise you, you will find someone else you connect with if you want to, if you allow it. But temperance in this one is like moderation. You know, this needs to this needs to stop. Um because she's she's focusing on someone who's in Knight of Wands energy. They're out enjoying their life. They're out uh, possibly having other relationships, sleeping with other people, partying. They have, they have walked away from this. They are not holding their, they are not putting their life on hold. This is a king of wands. He's passionate. He's intense. He's moving on. She's the one holding on to him. So those memories that she keeps replaying in her head and like, this is what I'm holding on to. This is what's so precious to me. She needs to move on from that. She needs to end that cycle. Let that door close. Let go. Let's see. What else? Ooh. Well, we only had two more cards, and there they are. With the Ten of Wands. Oof. Okay, so let's do one card at a time. Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands, the Tower, the Star, Three of Cups. 
with the Five of Pentacles. I'm afraid our queen is rationalizing again. She is definitely in a rationalizing type of day. <laughs> um, because in her mind, she's like, I don't mind waiting, though. I don't mind waiting for this person. This is, this is, um, this is not a burden to me. Even though it clearly is. Even though it's clearly affecting the way she sees herself, the way she feels about herself. But Seven of Pentacles, she, Seven of Wands, I mean, she might have even gotten blocked. And that shocked her. But here she comes again with the star saying it's okay it's okay because one day we're gonna we're gonna reconcile this person will unblock me and we will get back together girl if you if you resonate with this do you realize how delusional that sounds nine of pen nine of cups because you're trying to come across nine of pentacles, nine of cups. Like, no, but it's either this, it's either king of wands or bust. Clarify nine of cups. And the whole time you're in this energy, but Hierophant, page of pentacles, six of pentacles, ten of pentacles, four of cups, nine of swords. <sighs> With the empress. So. With the Hierophant, I feel like this queen is about to come across somebody who's going to teach her things. Now, I don't know if they're going to teach her um, lessons or blessings, but they're going to teach her something because we start off with the Page of Pentacles and we're ending with the Page of Pentacles. It's her inner child, the one that needs to be taught, right? Um, because she's she's giving leftovers to herself. Because she keeps uh, uh, what's adamant that this Ten of Pentacles will be built with the King of Wands. And no one else will suffice. No one else will do it. And she'll wait, even if it kills her. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords. But you know what? You know what? The universe is like, no, but see, what happens is we want you to be in Empress mode. We don't want you to be a second fiddle to anybody. We don't want you to be sitting here in the wings for somebody. So something's going to happen. I don't know what, because that didn't come out here. But what I mean by something is going to happen with the Hierophant, um, the universe is going to bring in a teacher of some sort. Now, I don't know if the person is going to be a romantic interest, a friend, a mentor, but something's going to be brought in to adjust this because this needs to be adjusted. Let's read the Tranquility card one more time. <clears throat> Let's see. Number 39. Okay, keywords, peace, silence, and healing. In thy womb of blissful quieting and calming stillness lives the world of words spellbound to the silence. To be at peace means to have inner harmony despite what is happening around you. Imagine how much easier Christmas shopping and holiday preparation would be if nothing ruffled your feathers. The same goes for life. You cannot change other people or external factors, but you can control how you respond to them. Did, did we all hear that? Let me read that one more time. We, you and I, Cannot change other people or external factors, but you can control how you respond to them. Inner peace is created through an acceptance of what is beyond your control. I'm going to read that one again too. Inner peace is created through an acceptance of what is beyond your control. What is the purpose of worry if it cannot contribute to a change in your situation? You have pulled tranquility because what you have asked about is beyond your control. It may seem ominous, but the fear is often much worse than the thing itself. Excessive worrying will only cause you more pain and could lead to self-fulfilling prophecies. 
You are being guided to release stress and seek peace. Reach out for help if you feel like this is not something you can manage independently. Having another perspective could help to ease the stress. So there's several things I want to address. First of all, this is out of your control. If you resonate with this, it's out of your control. You have to release because it's giving a lot of anxiety. And for what? Second of all, that's where the self-fulfilling prophecy comes in, right? The excessive worrying of what if this, because even, and I'm going to tell you this, even if this king did come back, she's obviously still not addressed those insecurities. So it would just happen all over again because she has not addressed the core of the situation. She would go back to devil mode, back to five of cups, back to, but she has not actually transformed. So even if the king of wands did return, it would happen all over again. It would become a self-fulfilling prophecy because she still has not addressed the pain and wound within her. So, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. If uh, you resonate or if you just enjoyed the story, please share your feedback and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.